Yeah, when were you first in ID? Um, typical. Yeah, that was just like a couple months ago. <laughs> uh, next minute, like people like know me, and I'm on, I'm on, I'm on a cover of like Vogue and ID and Pop. It's like crazy. I'm still trying to get my head around it all. Because when I was growing up, I was always getting told that I, oh, you should be a model, and that you really used to get on my nerves because I wanted to be a dancer and actress. So hearing that, I was like, what is a model? I don't want to be a model. But it wasn't until I got scouted and I started watching America's Next Top Model, I thought, hmm, maybe I can maybe do it. Maybe I should look into it. Did you pick up any tips from America's Next Top Model? <laughs> yeah, how to be fierce and just work your eyes and smile with your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> This is my um, baptism. <laughs> as far as I know, I don't think I've ever been in it. Wow. Um, Maybe I have. What, when was the first time you were in a magazine? That I was in a magazine? Yeah. In 1966. I modelled daily for four years till 1970 and then I was cast in a big major uh, feature film which changed my whole um, career path. I became an actress, singer, dancer, starred on Broadway. I've done lots of different things so I kind of do a bit of everything now. <laughs> made me travel a lot, which is good. But the damn part is my stomach hurts today. I feel kind of, kind of run down. <laughs> but yeah, it's, I'm traveling loads, meeting loads of people. Going to Miami for the first time. I can't wait to go to Miami next week. Going to New York to work with Stephen Mizell for Italian Vogue. And then I thought I'd take the detour and just go straight to Miami from there. <laughs> the, the positive perks. The of positive modeling. perks of modelling is free rights. Hey, you should try, you should try. The milk and the rice. Just a bit of um, actually, I think I was in the first issue when I was 14 in Japan. Because I remember we did this sort of Japanese thing and no one had ever heard of ID and they were saying it's this new English magazine and we didn't know what it was and we had to sort of do this picture in a temple or something like that. And that was like in 1980 or something. How would you say um, modelling has affected your life? Um, well, I mean, I certainly wouldn't have been anywhere or really done anything, I don't think, unless I'd, I'd been a model. You know, I never would have thought of doing it myself or anything. I was just incredibly lucky and I was asked and I just thought it might be fun. You know, why not? And I couldn't say no. I didn't have anything better to do. So, you know, um, my whole life has been really affected by it. Then suddenly, like, every door opened, you know. And I went everywhere, I went around the world. I met wonderful people. I've worked with the most amazing photographers and, and just be part of, like, the creative thing and you know and, and have fun and create stuff and feel like you're you're participating in something that's you know that everyone's enjoying and making something and making a great photograph you know that was that was really lovely and um 
you know, I think there's a lot of freedom. Who knows? I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 